Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald, and today we're going to make a video showing how to make a vase of flowers but using a cross fixing uh, mechanic. So, what do I mean by cross fixing? Well, essentially, in any sort of vase, we're going to make a wedge with some material. So, here's one that's already been done, and this just kind of shows that we do one bar below and one bar above. And this allows us really to come in and create. Uh, interesting hold on our material. So we can use the outside of the vase, the edge of the vase, but also the fixing as a way of securing it. So let's have a look at how to do that. What you need is you need a hmm, piece of twig. Ideally, well, it needs to really be a fresh twig and it needs to uh, have a little bit of mobility in it. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting one edge so that it is on an angle and then one edge is going to be straight. So the straight edge is going to go in there and this angled edge is going to be the thing that gives us the hold. So all I do is with the straight edge is I start shaving off little sections. So you can see we're nearly there. It is possible to go too far as well, and then you end up uh, with it being too loose. Now the other thing as well is you want to be really careful because this can be really tight and this could break a ceramic vase quite easily. Now, I'm not too worried about this vase because this is like a melanine and it's really strong. So you can see that we can get that in there. And for doing our second one then, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to come in from below. I just bought this vase actually, and uh, it came from a second-hand shop, and it cost less than two pounds, which was just amazing, which is great. And actually, it's great that things are getting used. You don't feel too precious about them because they're second-hand, but you're bringing them to life by actually using them. So this is our fixing. Uh, and the first thing that we need to do then is add water to our vase. So I'm going to fill that right up. All the stems need to be in water. Now, I've just got a collection of different flowers. Now, nothing in particular, and it was more to show you this kind of fixing that I actually uh, wanted to do. So, I've got a mix of flowers that are just really garden flowers, uh, and some from basically the hedgerow as well. So, I think this is like a verbascum, um, and it was just kind of growing wild. Now, what I can do is I can cut that stem so that this lies against that. Yeah, so as you can see, we get a nice hold on this, whereas it's holding on the edge of the vase, it's holding on the inside of the vase, but it's also holding on this piece here. So this is how we're gonna work. And actually, for your key stems, then that's gonna work really, really well. Um, I just wanted to make a kind of vase that was just fun. So, at the moment in my garden, we've got the most beautiful uh, agapanthus. And you can see that we can get quite an interesting effect with that. So it's very easy just to put flowers in a vase, but it's much more interesting to uh, 
bring them in and do something a bit more exciting with them. Uh, I've got a few couple of hookah reliefs here. And we're just going to bring them in just down into this area. Now that one's not so and some lovely little marguerites. This I have, someone brought it along, and I don't know the name of it, but it is actually really nice because it has a very clean stem. And we can really use that nicely in our design. I think the yellow and the blue is really quite cute. I've got a little bit of this just to go through the back. So we do want something to go towards the back just because it takes your eye through. And this is something I've said a few times actually, but it really does work. It really does make a difference. having that uh, little touch. Now, okay, let's have another little look. As I say, I'm really just using things that I had sitting around. So I think what we need is we need to bring something um, up a little bit. So I've got just a few of these little alliums that I can bring in. Now, as you can see, with having um, that structure, we get a little bit of strength, and then the more stems we add, the more it holds. So none of these stems are going down to the bottom of the vase. We don't need to do that. We can basically keep them higher up, and by having that crossbar, we're getting a much stronger angle. I'm just going to draw this one forward a little bit and bring this one up a little bit. And there we go. We've got a mixed vase of flowers using stuff that we've got. Uh, what I've done is I've really gone for a bit of contrast between the colour, uh, but also the shapes as well. But we've used a crossbar fixing to create our mechanic for holding our flowers. So rather than just have a load of flowers in a vase where they sit up, then we can create something that's much more of an arrangement and much more interesting because it has depth, it has line, uh, and it, it's more arranged. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. We've got new videos every week and we'd love you to join us for our next one. Click here to subscribe and if you haven't uh, already done so, tap the bell to say that you enjoyed today's video and we hope to see you soon.